So now, this is a slightly different video than normal where I'm going to take a look at this Jesco event, but along with one of my club mates, here we have Ziggy SD or Ziggy Stardust from the Grand Tour. So if this man gives you some good advice, don't knock him down in multiplayer races. But uh, yeah, we were going to cover a couple of points we were chatting about just kind of the Jesco event as you might approach it as being a long term player or else somebody who's and uh, newly coming into the game and looking at all these little microtransactions and stuff like that so we're going to go over a couple of points here yeah so one of the things i had noticed and we were chatting about a little bit is on the hazard level three stages how you kind of hit a uh, you hit a bit of a paywall and you can buy your way out of the paywall but you might just kind of get caught on one the next day on the next stage yeah and say like then i wanted to talk more about the support cars especially for newer players to the game who are coming into this who might not have some of those things and say like for even myself who's played this game for 2000 hours the genetic g60 is one of those support cars that i'm missing blueprints from that and we're actually gonna like unlock a couple of the packs for that just to get those last two blueprints just to give you an idea as to how bad the drop rate is on those things especially like i say i'm missing two blueprints if you guys are missing a handful of cars you're gonna see in this video kind of how bad that'll get it's going to cost you yeah and not only that if you're missing blueprints for these cars and you're continuing to upgrade them every day you're going to have to have the credits to do that and the more cars you're missing the more credits you're going to need to acquire in a very short period of time yeah so we'll look take a look at um especially the credits for some of the cars like the sin say and that's another one in particular the sin is one car that like we have to talk about how many blueprints that costs to upgrade and exactly the cost of those and especially like the cost of those either going to be with trade coins or else with these special jesco coins for the event yeah and talking about the jesco coins and uh that extra layer of a micro transaction that they've snuck in there for this event you have to consider the cost of spending tokens on those syndicate coins in order to further unlock the other cars yeah because it's like they cost say six thousand coins and just in terms of that uh, sin but just mention that but it's like six thousand coins but then you have to work out exactly how many tokens that would cost you and then how much real world money that's going to cost you so you don't just like mistakenly just because it's gone one layer down just mistake that for oh now it's just those coins yeah right you might need to start busting out your spreadsheets for this one <laughs> oh dear so one of the things we noticed is the hazard level three missions have cars that have a required rank but unlike the hazard level one and hazard level two you can't token skip those missions if you got stuff yes. you didn't have the car yeah so like you can like i've made a slightly larger for this since this is more of a chatting back and forth but yeah you might notice the fact that there is a normally a skip button that's right here where i'm trying to point uh but yeah on these say like this is a hazard level three one that skip button's missing so where you would normally get the option of skipping for 100 tokens which is a crazy cost when you think about that actual token microtransaction cost it's um nearly 10 euro i think uh but yeah the level three ones don't have that and like Ziggy said, say so like here you can see my DB11, which thankfully I have the blueprints for, but it's just missing the tuning for it. So um, yeah, obviously you're going to like need to tune up those cars because they have to be tuned up. You can't just skip these stages. Yeah, and you could put yourself in a situation where you use a token skip on a hazard level one or hazard level two stage only to get stuck on the hazard level three because you don't have the car to the max tuning that's required for that stage yeah and like you need pretty much not all but you need the majority of the experience from each one of these events but yeah the thing is like with these unpinned missions you need pretty much all of them like the pinned missions it's fine to skip some of or just leave some behind their jesco coins is the only thing you're getting from those but this experience you need pretty much all of these events done so you're going to need all of those support cars um like tuned up to the max by the time you're getting anywhere close to unlocking the actual jesco yeah and that kind of just can create a snowball effect of if you get stuck on one car finally get it unlocked you get to the next stage and now there's something else that's locking you out so for example uh today requires the db11 and you also need the ferrari 488 at a certain rank uh but all these cars at their max rank so if you only had a three-star Ferrari 488, you might make it through today's stage and only get stuck later on. 
Yeah, and that's the thing. That's like one of the main things about this event that we want to kind of drill into people, especially like newer players to this game. Say if you're at the point right now in this event where you're thinking I could spend a couple of euros and buy the Genetti G60 at one star and that let me do today's event which will give me the Jesco. It's like no, there's a very set amount of blueprints you need for those, all the support cars. It's pretty much max blueprints um isn't it yeah so it's max blueprints for all support cars including the g60 yeah. and then for the a12 and the genti you need to get them at one star but those syndicate coin packs that haven't showed up in the shop yet are going more expensive you can kind of go back and look at what they were on uh, mobile and pc and figure out what the cost is going to be yeah, and I mean, that's the thing that's really going to be like, you want to just drill this into people kind of like, I don't mean to sound ratty in this in any way. It's just a case of if you're looking at this event right now and thinking I could spend 20 euro to get me that Genetic G60 and that might get me the, the Jesco. It's just to clarify, like, unless you have all of the cars for this one you really really like you're not going to end up with the uh the jesco and that's the kind of thing is like it's a kind of slippery slope of microtransactions that they want to kind of get you okay so you spent 2.99 on a genetic g60 pack and now like next week they're going to be asking you oh will you spend an extra like say 20 euro isn't it on the one of the two of those cars yeah, I think it's 20 euro on the uh, super fast, and then it's 50 euro. Uh, so it's 20, yeah. 20 euro for 23 blueprints on the super fast, 50 euro, 35 prints on the gen. Yeah, and that's enough to unlock those cars. But like, say, so that's the thing. It's like if you're going into this and you think oh, I've spent kind of two euro, four euro, six euro on a set of those um, Genetti G60 blueprints. Like, and that's not too bad. Just keep in mind that all you're doing with that microtransaction is just buying a Genetic G60. Like, unless you're willing to down the road spend 20 euro on getting one of those cars and then 50 euro on the other one, if you don't have the tokens for this event, you're not going to come away with the Jesco. That's what they're trying to get you to do. They're trying to make it so that people are roped in by one or two events and just kind of go like, oh, but I've spent some money now. So then do you like call it quits and like, leave the event with just having spent something or do you go further and further and further down the rabbit hole of microtransactions yeah and keep in mind as well that you're going to need syndicate coins to upgrade the jesco as the event progresses and if you've gotten decently far into it you're you're well aware that those events uh those upgrades get progressively more expensive as you go on and i believe you need to have it somewhere between one and two stars in terms of upgrades in order to get through that uh nine kings one mission that unlocks the car yeah because unless you get to the four hundred and four thousand mark in the experience you you will come away from this event with effectively like just the support cars that you bought from this so a lot of players are going to go through this and come away with spending money to get that genetic g60 by the way on mobile did you not mention that a the G60 event appeared pretty much as soon as the Jesco event was finished with anyway. So it was a little bit different on mobile and PC compared to Switch in that on yeah. Switch, if you were playing back in, I believe it was April, we had a G60 car hunt. So you could have theoretically maxed car out before this event started. Now on PC and mobile, it was a little bit different in that they never had a car hunt for that car. They all had to start from zero blueprints no okay so at least we got a bit of a head start for that because like yeah i come into this like i said i've got my uh genetic g60 currently at two blueprints away from max and yeah i'm gonna get those packs in this and i'm just gonna do it with the single packs <laughs> and we're just gonna go through how they're trying to muddy the cost of those actual uh blueprints and stuff especially with those packs because again you have to get your tokens to get your jesco coins and then spend your jesco coins and your packs and then you get your reward for it and it's those extra layers that they're trying to hide stuff from so yeah you do have these genetti packs that you can get for like 199 but i also do have the jesco coins so i'm gonna just try and unlock them just using the uh, jesco coins here you have like the genti again for like 50 euro and the super fast for 20 you really don't want to be getting like down those paths i mean well some people may and that's perfectly fine if you're okay with spending it but just keep in mind that that's like 70 euro for two virtual cars in this game so especially ones that could be unlocked sadly the genetti doesn't appear in this pack which would actually be kind of useful because 
it's 199 and it has some stuff also because i've gone past the um first stages of this the genity is no longer available as a guaranteed purchase for 3k but i'm going to test out my look a small bit with these packs and kind of see just uh how terrible it is as always and these packs are basically like a car hunt pack you can get an import part yeah that's not great and the thing is it's like there's no guaranteed ones at this as well like the 10 pack is um it's only a 10 percent discount so i'm just yeah. going with the single packs for these because i need two blueprints not a good start. Uh, <laughs> yeah well i could get it in 1600 so i mean that's one pack at least these counters are daily goal for import parts, which is another <laughs> useless. Yep. All I need is two blueprints. Not it's... five thousand. Yeah, <laughs> it's brilliant. It's just what I needed. Like it's five five k. I'm now kind of dreading the fact of should I have gotten those uh, guaranteed because that's four. I think five packs now. More credits. My luck in this game is like it has never failed me to be bad. <laughs> Come on! How many do you need? Two. All right. Two blueprints. Just a. Hey. One. If the All next right. one of these is going to be a jackpot, isn't it? It's just going to be like the, the big payout for it. Because this game loves to absolutely mess with me. Or no, it's not. It's going to be another import pack. <laughs> so now I'm definitely past the point where I could have gotten the two of those for 3k. Well, you're, you're definitely trending towards that 10% uh, that drop rate, I'll say that. Yeah, it was supposed to be 20% on these. No, I think it's 10%, like, actually. Oh, it, no, you're right. It's 20%. It's 20%. Yes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. That's for two blueprints for this car. And, I mean, it's a nice shiny yeah, I mean, car. These, these effectively function the same as, like, a car hunt pack. You can get one blueprint, or you can get credits or yeah, import parts. Nothing. So not great at least now i can actually like apply the import parts to that for a change without actually using like the um the bug in the game which is handy enough so like yay i've got a genetti <laughs> which i now have to tune up as well so if i want to be able to actually use it but um but i was just going to clarify by the way you mentioned uh during those packs the fact that the drop rate of 10 percent like uh yeah, the blueprints is meant to be 20%. That's just my my bad look on these. It's just <laughs> terrible. But I, I'm kind of I'm kind of grateful for that in a way because like if I had good luck, someone might watch one of my videos at a point and think, oh man, Storm got this car unlocked in like five or six blueprint packs. That's great. I'll get that too. And I'm kind of happy to be the poster child for like, these packs suck. <laughs> like <laughs> these packs and your look can suck. So just always go with like, yeah, you're going to have terrible luck. And yeah, as you were saying, like, um, no guaranteed blueprints with these. No guaranteed blueprints and only one blueprint per drop. So compared to the usual yeah, so token pack that's a times three, you're only getting one here. Okay, but uh, you mentioned earlier the fact of, like, obscuring the costs and say, like, these Genetti G60 packs, they cost 800 of these Jesco coins each. But, like, 800 of these Jesco coins, you know, it's going to cost you, let's see here... Say you need to get a 2,000 microtransaction pack from, so you could basically say it's about 40 tokens for 800, and 40 tokens is 1 euro 99. So, like, every single one of those packs I got, if I didn't have the Jesco tokens for it, or if I didn't have the Jesco coins, I mean, and if I didn't have the, the tokens for it, you're talking about an actual microtransaction cost of 2 euros per, like, pack, which, yeah, it builds up pretty fast, like... Yeah, and you can trade, what is it, 12,000 tokens for about 350,000 of those coins. 12,000 tokens is about $400 worth of tokens. Yeah, it's the exact same here um, for that 4,000. Like, if you're just buying them straight up from these packs of, like, the thing, it's 400 euros. And, like, sorry, that's mildly obscured by us being in the middle. But you've probably seen this menu before, so we're just kind of, like... 
For this video, I'm going to make a one-off of making us slightly larger since it's not on the track. It's more just uh, shooting things back and forth and see how people enjoy it. Sure. If you don't, leave a comment down below and uh, tell us to shut up and drive more. <laughs> but yeah, that's 400 uh, euros for 350k of those tokens. That's insane to me. As for somebody who like plays this game free to play, and like I know that some of these are available in other ways. Like you can get packs where they're like reduced down a bit. So these syndicate big currency pack that you can buy two of for two hundred euro. But again, like keep in mind you're talking about paying two hundred euro for potentially working your way towards getting a Jesco, and like even at that. The Jesco's a nice car, but at the same time, unless you're sure that you can end up with the Jesco, you could be spending like a hundred plus euro on microtransactions and come away with the G60. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless you're coming into this, you know, with the G60 already or a large amount of tokens or both, uh, probably best to just kind of take what you can get from this event and get out and not risk putting cash into it for nothing in return or yeah. something very limited De like the G60. Definitely, like, if you're thinking about, like I said, right now, the main one is the people who are going to be looking at buying that Genetti and spending the 20 euro or so on getting those packs for that. Um, like, I didn't go for those that option, but, yeah, if you're going to buy your blueprints for this Genetti with this, just keep in mind the fact that what you're doing there is you're effectively just spending 20 euro on um, just the Genetti. You're not getting the Jesco for that. No way. Because you're going to need at least, I think it's a 12,000 tokens yeah, or 12, the coins. 12,000 tokens you're going to probably need to be trading in there to have enough of the extra syndicate coins to be able to cover the cost of the Jesco upgrades, the cost of the A12 super pass, the cost of the Genty. And obviously once you get the 812 unlocked because I believe that comes up first. You'll have the opportunity to earn more of those syndicate coins through the event. So, yeah, uh, not quite sure how that shakes out overall, but you should expect that you're going to need at least 12,000. If you have the G60 max, I've seen people say you can get through it with 6,000. That's obviously going to be a little bit dependent on your luck with the packs because hey, well, oh, hey, I'm doomed. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a that's me. Oh yeah, twenty percent drop rate, but for me that means none. So it's great. Right. <laughs> like, but does. yeah, just keep like always worst case scenario. But like here, you've got no guaranteed blueprints. You could open up a million of those packs and never get a blueprint. Exactly. I mean, by by you, I mean rate, me. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, but while it's a twenty percent drop rate, you know that doesn't guarantee that you're going to come out with exactly 20 percent. you might come out a bit worse in which case you would need more syndicate coins so 6k like the average cost some people have worked out in terms of tokens but you should just kind of plan to have more than that going into this if you're gonna really make a yeah. really have a go at it free to play yeah like if you don't have twelve thousand tokens it's not a guarantee pretty much and that's like twelve thousand tokens on top of all the support cars included which includes the sin right the sin and they yeah that sin can hit you hard what? this event <laughs> yeah so like i said you're gonna focus on just the sin in general just in terms of how costly that thing is so the sin costs 105 blueprints from the start so from zero stars to max the five stars which you need to have before you can get the jesco in this you have to have the sin at 105 blueprints now uh those blueprints are available in two ways. You can get them for trade coins from 1,200 trade coins every day in that uh, the legend store. And also you can buy them here for 6,000 of those Jesco coins. So like 105 of these blueprints at 6,000 uh, Jesco coins each. I mean, what's that come to around? I think we worked looking out the total of it. Yeah, you're looking at about 630,000 Syndicate coins just for that car if you were going from five stars. Now, presumably, a lot of people are going to at least have some blueprints for it already because you've been taking it uh, each day in the Legend Store for the trade tokens. But unless you knew it was going to be in this event in advance, it can hit you pretty hard. And not only are you going to need to get that car start up 
you're going to need it to start up to five stars because mm -hmm. this event has pretty much been like a copy paste of the mobile PC version. And that car is required five stars on the last stage that you play to unlock the Jesco. And on yeah. top of all that, I hope you have a good credit stash to get it upgraded because it's not the cheapest car to upgrade. But so like that that's 630,000 uh, coins. Like if you don't have the sin or if you have the sin at zero stars right now, unless you're willing to spend real world money because you can buy that pack that's got like a, an amount of sin blueprints. Like you're talking about for the sin needing 24,000 tokens just for the sin alone. If you wanted to buy that just with tokens converted to coins, 24,000 tokens is 800 euro. If my math's good, my math might have sucked. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's like... Hmm? And that's just for the sin, which is like uh, basically One a free of card. the support it's care. Long -term. Yeah, it's just, it's yeah. just a long-term unlock. Yeah, the own the other way to get the sin is by like say here looking back at the the normal legend store, you will see the fact that, like if you haven't uh, noticed it because it's a it's an unusual car, but you get the sin uh, blueprints every day kind of inside in this uh, legend store, which refreshes three times a day, and the thing about that is it's like you also need one thousand two hundred trade coins for that, so you're gonna need to be grinding out other events to get the trade coins and. But the free-to-play way of unlocking the sin takes, like, months if you're going to do it. Like, I have the sin maxed out, but I've been playing this game since the this game launched on the Switch. And even at that, it was a really long grind to get it there. Yeah, it's kind of similar. Like, it's kind of similar to unlocking the Lamborghini Asterion, except that there is a cost with it. So with Lamborghini Asterion, when you start out playing the game, you get the... I think it's five free blueprints every day, and then it scales down to one after you unlock the car. It's the same deal, but you need trade tokens. So you're not going to have trade tokens when you first start playing. It takes a while to get some, because you need to start maxing out some cars in order to get them, or you need to know to sell import parts, which not everybody's going to know to do right off the bat. So you might yeah. not even have trade tokens or not enough to take a blueprint every day. So it takes a long time. It's not like... And then also, like, you have the fact of you were talking about the actual credits cost then to upgrade it. Because it's wanting to unlock the card five stars. But the sin gets incredibly, incredibly costly. It's 9.9 .9 million credits to take the sin from zero tuning all the way up to five uh, stars tuning. Not including the epic import parts, which are not included. It, they're not required for this. So yay saving grace we don't need the epic import parts for this but at the same time you're like you need to spend a crazy amount to unlock the five stars and then you need to have 10 million credits to tune that car up to where it's useful for this event so like you need to keep in mind it and that is the events that are just the day before the jesco becomes unlocked isn't it you're saying with the key yeah i believe it's in the stage where you unlock the jesco so you need to play that stage on the last day in order to unlock it. So if you were upgrading all the other cars and you're a little bit light on credits because you've been putting your credits into all the other cars that are needed for this event, then you're going to be in trouble there. And even for me, I've been keeping a bank of about 10 million credits that I won't let myself go below a given point just so I make sure I have enough. And then I'm using the sin as like my daily uh, import part and credit oh, from the car. legend store yeah yeah to get the five token uh daily goal yeah that that five tokens will go a long way towards the um eight million you need for the jesco that's great <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> it's really good and like that's the thing is like some people as well they might see my videos sometimes and see like the number of tokens that i have here yeah, like 24k tokens and stuff but like i've played this one moment Uh, but yeah keep in mind that I've played this game for that amount of hours uh, feel free to add me as a friend by the way if you want <laughs> <laughs> I may not accept all of those if there's a lot of views on this video <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like that's 2400 hours and I play this game quite a bit because 
lockdown. But yeah, <laughs> that's not an amount of tokens that you want to be buying really with real world money. Like you want to be building those up over a long time. And this event is running for another 27 days. So you've got like an amount of uh, tokens and credits that you can build up, but really you're not going to be looking at being able to build up that amount. Like 12k is not possible in the 28 days that this is around. Yeah, and I don't know if you've noticed, but they've kind of throttled tokens as well in multiplayer. So if you look at the multiplayer 2 series, the Class A series, you can only get uh, 100 tokens for being in top 1,000, 200 tokens for being in top 100. And you compare that to the season that we had right before the Jesco, you were able to, if you were in top 1,000, get 500 tokens because you got 250 just for being in master and another 250 bonus for being 1,000. It was like 150 for top 3,000. Yeah, and say like even now with the World Series, like keep in mind that that's going on for the next month anyway. So like it's going to end pretty much at the same time as the Jesco event or thereabouts. But like the rewards from that have no tokens whatsoever in it. So, yeah, they really haven't been, like, forthcoming a lot. You've got the weekly bonus, like, the weekly competition you have, which is going to be somewhere around 90 tokens, kind of, for, like, hardcore players, kind of 80, 90 tokens to 100, if possible. But, say, otherwise you're just looking at, like, the daily events, which is 60 tokens per day times 28, which is around 1.5k or so tokens. So, definitely, like... Not even 10% of what you need to unlock the car fully. But yeah, we were talking earlier as well about the difference between the mobile version and the Switch. And now obviously, like, on the mobile version, you said that they didn't have the Janetta event before the Jesco, like we did on the Switch. But they did get it, like, almost immediately afterwards. So just keep in mind as well that, like, if you pump, like, 20 euro plus into getting that deranked car, and then it does happen to follow, like, the mobile version of the game is like you're going to be paying 20 euro for a car that's yeah gifted to you as a car hunt immediately afterwards and you're going to be like converting so many of those like blueprints just directly into trade coins after this so like you're going to spend money right now on something that you're going to get gifted to you as trade coins which is going to be incredibly demoralizing like i hate the thought of that like spending money on something the game then just goes ah here you could have had it yeah, and especially for something like the G60, which is not a super useful <laughs> car outside of this event. It's just kind of, no, you a, know. It's a powerhouse. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like a demoralizing kind of thing where just you can spend money on, yeah, like you said, not a useful car. And if that's all you come away from this with, it's going to be bad enough that you'll have spent 20 euro on you know a piece of genetic <laughs> but realistically the fact that then after this event you're also going to get that extra sting of the fact that oh here's a car hunt for genetic which you now have maxed out and you'll probably get some trade coins that you could have used for the sin during this event so it'll be even like more salt in the wounds yeah i mean something to note is pretty much every event uh sorry every car that's in the garage for this event is a car that you can generally get pretty easily for free a lot of them are in the weekly class events the aventador is having a car hunt now the elise had one last week the sin is always in the legend store and the g60 previously had a car hunt it was months ago it's a little bit weird that they spaced it so far ahead from this event um you know all these cars in free and available and hunted or in weekly uh class cups outside of the uh, a12 and the genti yeah definitely even right now like that aventador you said is in that car hunt there's 600 packs available for that i've got videos on my channel that are um from the previous time that was available in a car hunt because this is like the second if not third time that there's been a car hunt for the aventador sv so like um if you're wondering about getting those blueprints for that i might do a run specifically in the two uh specific cars for that but it's generally the same every time you just want to be hitting those the first ramp at the top of that first tunnel and then bounding into the ramp in the down uh, area of that but uh that's for another video but <laughs> my main thing is just grind that car because like i i always say this like you should do every event that can offer a blueprint pretty much because they will come up in all these uh different events but like 
with these cars like you can see it inside the menu if you just come in here to dse dense genetti lotus elise which you just had the car hunt of like the chevrolet camaro 50th anniversary that d-class car i think that's very freely available in a load of different packs same with the bmw m4 you get it like pretty much from all the multiplayer packs and everything can chuck you that the maserati less commonly available you can get that from the the c-class event every week isn't it very uncommon and, job, though but it did have a car hunt during the uh first week of the sure on that yeah yeah there was a car hunt for it but it does also appear in those c-class cars and the weekend event as well the austin martin db11 again is like a very very available car it's like in nearly all the packs same with the ferrari 488 the sin we talked about it's it's there every day but it's just it's you're going to take a month or two to get it like if you don't have that right now at a position where you can finish it off before you need the jesco like you won't get the jesco it's that easy really and funny enough talk about the aventador sv uh that car has actually had two car hunts since the g60 had its car hunt back in april because we had it not that long ago what was it maybe two months ago max there was an aventador sv car hunt the, the thing is the car hunts that take place on that rome stage there's about four of them that do so once i've got those cars maxed out for me they all just blend together as this is the car hunt where i get credits and import parts and not much <laughs> else and i get to see my switch running it and touch drive over and over again basically whenever i've got 10 to <laughs> 10 tickets uh kind of to burn through and i don't want to sit down at my switch and play for a bit <laughs> or there isn't a try on event uh but but yeah, we're going to pretty much uh, wrap this up now because I think we've talked all there is to be talked about this. But uh, yeah, this is probably going to end up as one of the longest videos on my channel. But if you like this sort of content, please leave a comment down below and let us know. And I'll see if uh, Ziggy can come back to shoot Breeze sometime about the events and stuff. And uh, yeah, just let us know kind of what you think of it. And um, if there's anything we can give advice on and stuff. Because like I've played this game from the start. And Ziggy, you've played this from a little bit after launch yeah late march I, I really got into it more with the uh the whole lockdown situation as well <laughs> yeah that's quite a lot of people good doing your civic duty to stay inside and play video <laughs> games it's awesome but uh yeah like we were saying it's just a case of with this event the main thing is just know the we're trying to just warn you the cost beforehand so that you don't kind of stumble into a few microtransactions and then end up in a situation where that's all you get for your microtransactions and hopefully like i said i said it to Ziggy at the start of this video it's like if we can make this so that one person doesn't fall into the trap of spending 20 euro and then coming away with just a genetic g60 i will be super happy with the time this takes to make <laughs> <laughs> that'll make it all worth it yeah and that's that's the thing it's just a case of like i love this game and i love to keep trying to keep this game as free to play as possible for players but at the same time i'm always just like oh watch out for those microtransactions and be careful especially on the spiral where it's like oh it's two euro oh it's 20 euro oh it's 50 euro like that's a really bad spiral to go down and then oh the sin is at the end of it yeah storm i think you summed it up pretty well there so i'll just add on good luck don't uh, fall into many traps here. And uh, if you enjoy this video, maybe don't knock me down in multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. Uh, thanks very much for uh, taking the time out to come on and give a chat. Like I said, I know this is a very different video from the usual stuff. But yeah, let us know if uh, you like this sort of content. And otherwise, tell me, get back on the track, Storm. All right, guys. Good luck and drive safe, as I always say. <laughs>